Hi, and welcome to Starship Gaming. This is officially Season 2. Um, well, let's just jump right in. So, the Atari VCS has been somewhat of a mystery over the past, well, nearly two years since its announcement. And, well, things seem a little weird about this console. Uh, let's discuss. First, let's go over the obvious. It is a new Atari console. It is actually the first Atari console, um, official Atari console, since the Atari Jaguar. Of course, it's not made by the original um, Atari uh, company, but um, it's made by the current, um, I guess you could say, right holders um, of the uh, Atari name and whatnot. So when it was first announced a few years ago, it was then known as the Atari Box. And then eventually it was renamed the Atari VCS, which is actually what the Atari 2600 was called prior to be calling the Atari 2600. Now the main difference between this and, well, other game consoles, well, let's, let's stop right there for a moment and discuss. This is a new current gen console that is coming out technically it is a console but it's well it's download only it's one of those things that there's a claim right now that it will come preloaded with um, a good number of games when it launches which it's currently set to launch in March 2020 but the thing is are people really going to buy a console that is essentially download only I mean, we've already seen a couple download-only uh, consoles that have been launched, and they've lasted a few years and then failed. A good example of that is the Ouya, which came out, oh, what seems like forever ago, but it was on the market for maybe, at most, prominent on the, on the market at least for two years uh, before it was just swept under the rug. Of course, the difference between the Ouya and this is that the Ouya was released during a time when downloads were still like buying games download only uh, was still a very very new concept um, I mean yeah it existed a lot of people did it at that time but it wasn't as prominent as it is uh, as of uh, 2019 so with that being said all the games um, will be download and uh, it'll come preloaded with games um, allegedly that's at least the claim I'm still a little skeptic about it because there is a good share of controversy um, about the uh, Atari VCS that I'm sure if you've um, been looking around the internet uh, there's there's or even on YouTube there's a good amount of, uh, of controversy surrounding it um, which I'm not going to go into um, really today, but uh, if you want to look into that, um, just type in on Google Atari VCS controversy, and I'm sure you'll get plenty of results and articles about what's going on. And the th last thing I think I should mention at least is that it will come bundled um, with two controllers, um, a classic looking uh, joystick controller, I'm guessing that's for the um, classic 2600 games that will be preloaded into it, plus in addition to that, like I said, you can download uh, more. Uh, and then it's got this controller that looks very familiar. It actually looks almost exactly like an Xbox One controller. Um, I mean, honestly, I think <laughs> that's pretty much what it could be. I mean, look at the, posi the positions. The positions of the buttons are almost exactly the same. The only thing missing is the, uh, I guess you could say, what, whatever it's called, the power button with the Xbox logo to, to turn on. It, it's the only thing missing, but it looks extremely familiar. And also, if you've noticed, um, kind of off topic, but the, you know, off topic. But Nintendo Switch, um, their uh, regular controllers, they have a similar layout as the Xbox One does. Um, but of course, you know, we're not talking about that. Um, <laughs> but uh, I mean, really, the the controller for the um, Atari VCS looks very similar to an Xbox One controller. 
Well, here's another thing about the controllers. They're made by Power A, who they, they are a company that makes aftermarket controllers. Um, and they have, um, they've been in business for uh, several years, but um, a lot of the Power A controllers I've seen that they make are Nintendo Switch. Um, the, usually the uh, really cheap wireless Bluetooth ones, um, very cheaply made. Um, I mean, they're kind of, for aftermarket, I mean, the only thing that they, the thing with Power A is that they sell controllers that are, they have designs on them. They, they have like some kind of special licensing under Nintendo and they have like Yoshi or Mario or Zelda or, you know, Legend of Zelda or, or any kind of theme like that. Um, they're not bad. I owned one. I actually had to throw it out because it broke within the first six months and I was not rough with it or anything. It's just very cheaply made. So we'll probably have an episode on that very soon uh, about Power A controllers. And the console itself is made by a company called Flex. The console itself will launch at $199 for a Onyx edition. Uh, there will also be a Tribute edition, which I think is going to run $399. There will also be a $299 option. Um, but the thing is, are people really going to buy this console? Uh, of course, we're coming up on an era where um, there's going to be more downloadable consoles. A uh, good example of that is the Google Stadia. Um, the thing about Stadia is it's it's got a big name behind it. Um, of course, Atari has a big historical name behind it, but um, you know how those things typically go. Uh, I have a feeling that the Google Stadia will probably very, well, we're gonna say very probable uh, that it will outsell the Atari VCS. Uh, as to how close the numbers will be, no one could really tell. But honestly, um, if the um, Atari VCS has a pretty good lineup in terms of original content, uh, I may end up getting one. But if the Google Stadia has about the same, I might get one eventually. I'm not really too big into like the downloadable consoles, like downloadable games on them. I like physical copies, which is why I will support... Um, any company that will continue to make physical copies for their games uh, as opposed to companies that sell games on consoles that are download only. So before we finish off this episode, I have one major concern about the Atari VCS. And of course, this is a question coming from, well, what will happen if the console completely flatlines upon release? What kind of, well, let me put it this way. How long will my console last, my Atari VCS console last, after the actual product is discontinued? That's only hypothetically if it fails, which I don't have a very good feeling about it. Of course, I could be wrong. It may be a complete success and usher in the next era of gaming, but at this point, we really don't know. But back to my point, what happens, hypothetically speaking, if the console fails and is discontinued within the first year or even two years? How long do I have support for my console uh, if this event occurs? That is my major concern about it. And like I said, it's, it's hypothetical, um, but you never can be too careful with these things. I mean... History tends to repeat itself, especially gaming history. Like I said, the Ouya. Just just look at the Ouya and what happened with it. So, probably, before I even purchase an Atari VCS, I'm going to keep an eye on it, uh, keep an eye on sales, um, reviews from other, you know, other people, and I may wait six months to a year before I purchase one, before I nosedive head first into the Atari VCS. Then again, I may buy one at launch, which I doubt. <laughs> but uh, before we go, I want to leave you with this question, and you can answer it in the comments down below. Of course, if you're watching this video after it's launched and after it's been on the market, and if it succeeds or if it fails, then don't answer this question. But my question to you, 
pre-launch of the Atari VCS is, do you think the console will succeed or fail? And tell us why. Tell us why. So, I hope you enjoyed today's Season 2 premiere episode. Of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell if you want notifications of when we do more awesome videos. And of course, you know me, keeping it real and being honest with you in terms of gaming stuff. So, until next time, I will see ya.